That's it, guys. We're going to war against Bald Cafe. It was bound to happen, and now we're just gonna do it. But guys, before we jump into this, if you do wanna share your story, like this guy has shared his story on Bald Cafe's channel, please, please reach out to me. Um, reach out to me in the comments below or send me an email, jake at dillymedia.com, so that way we can set up a time to do an interview. I would love to hear your story with hair loss, whether you've shaved your head, you've got a hair transplant, you've gotten a hair system, whatever, I don't care. Now let's jump into the video. So this video is prompted by this video right here. I actually haven't watched it all, uh, but it's balding man removes wig for the first time, for the last time, emotional head shave transformation. Now I'm not actually going to war with Bald Cafe here, but I do wanna cover you know his conversation and some of my thoughts on this right here because uh, you know I think it's important to just kind of give like critical discourse to conversations like this online and I cannot invalidate in any way what this guy says about his hair loss journey that's not the point and you know we shouldn't be doing that as a community but i think it would just be interesting to see what another community is talking about when it comes to well, hair systems although i cover hair systems mostly on this channel the intent on this channel is never to encourage someone to just choose to get a hair system it's more so to be the best man that you can be and take care of your hair loss whatever way you want whether it's go bald um you know get a hair transplant take drugs hair system whatever uh i don't really care what you do i just want you to take action pretty much and and move forward in your journey so this video well, we're just going to look at what's going on here and you know see what's being said on the other parts of the interwebs and it was a, a sink or swim moment to do this anymore this has been years Not many see one years first year of university so getting ready to go out i remember Okay, so this first part of the video is gonna be about uh, him and his backstory with uh, going bald. And we'll probably jump around a little bit in here. And then we'll go to hair system removal, head shave. We'll probably move through this pretty quickly because we know what this is like. We'll probably just watch his reaction. And then after the being bald thoughts and advice. Don't do this anymore. This has been years, many. one years. First year of university, so getting ready to go out. I remember this day, and I'm looking at my hair and doing this. I'm looking at the sink and going like, oh, what hair falling out? I was mm, like, oh, mm -hmm. well, okay, cool, whatever, you know, hair falls out. Yeah. You really think anything of it. Now, I used to go out a lot, so I was going like four or five days a week. And every time I went to the sink to do my hair, it felt like the same amount of hair was falling out. And I started noticing I'd go to the hairdressers, and it still looked kind of all right on top. Mm -hmm. um, but you start to notice that the sides are getting a bit, uh, are growing faster than the top. Into my third year of uni, as I started, I really noticed it. Because I went thin first, so I ended up kind of like brushing it forward and up a bit. And you have it slightly longer, like a bit kind of like, you know, covering. And when I finished university, all my friends were going traveling and they were like, oh, do you want to, do you want to come? We're going traveling. And I wanted to go, but I remember thinking, oh, I don't know how my hair's going to look this year. What, what, it, what do I do? This part really hits me because I've had those same exact thoughts. You know, when I was in college, I, I finished my undergraduate a little bit later than most people around like 23, 24 is when I went back to school and I had two years left. And when I went traveling, um, I was in London and Rome for six months. I did a study abroad and I remember uh, just like being so super conscious about my hair loss and that I didn't like the way that I looked in all of the photos that were being taken of me. And for a while I wasn't having like photos taken of me, but there was so many that I was a part of because of the school trip and um, you know, just being a part of other people's memories. And it really, really bothered me. So I totally get what this guy is saying. Yeah. So I was like, oh no, no, I'm cool, I'm cool. I don't wanna go. You missed out on that. that was the kind of start. I was like, yeah. no, no, I'm just not going to do this. I applied for drama school, went to drama school. Inevitably, the hair keeps going, right? Mm -hmm. At this point, I'm freaking out. Mirrors everywhere. I'm going to skip forward a little bit in the hair loss story. It is extremely relevant, but this content is probably like six or seven minutes long. And I kind of want to get into where he's going and talking about shaving his head more so than his backstory. But, you know what, I might have lost this relationship, I might have ruined it, but I can't do this to myself anymore. I do go places, but I go places in fear. And it sounds so dramatic, hmm. but it, it genuinely has been that crippling for me in my life. Wow. It really yeah. has. I just don't want to be that person anymore. I'm so done, I'm so tired. You know, you just kind of think, just think what am I doing? But, you know, I haven't actually had a shower where water has touched my head. 
yeah, since just... I was 27. I miss like, wow. I, said I don't go swimming. I don't, I haven't been swimming since I was, must've been 20. I stopped going. I started having to buy umbrellas and carry them everywhere and hats and everything. Everything you can think of I've done. And I look back now, I just think, oh, it's so stupid. Pretty sure that even the most recent girl I was going out with, if I'd have just said at the very beginning, I'm pretty sure it would have been okay. And I think that actually just not doing it it's hmm. like being the final straw. I'm like, I can't keep doing this. Honestly, if anyone, anyone out there, like, it's so not worth it. And I've been through 20 years of it. I'm done. I mean, just listening to how he was describing that at the end and how wearing a hair system has changed his life for the worse. You know, I was walking into this kind of ready to do battle against hair systems, but I honestly think that this guy shouldn't have a hair system if it's affecting his life that much. Like. As I'm listening to his story, I'm thinking to myself, well, if that's how I felt about my hair system, if I felt like I couldn't go in water, you know, I, I couldn't take a shower. He said he hasn't taken a shower since he was 27. He looks like he's in his late thirties, maybe. If, you know, he felt like he had to lie to every woman in his life, that kind of stuff, then uh, I mean, I, I guess I would probably follow suit with this guy. I That's where I disagree though, is that I don't feel any of those things. And I don't think they're necessary. Like I wash my head with water pretty often, multiple times a week. Um, I don't really lie about my hair to people. I don't I'll actively tell everybody. I don't like wear it like it's a you know t-shirt slogan. But would you guys actually wear that if I if I made a t-shirt like some merchandise that said something about hair systems? I don't know. Crazy top, but anyways, and yeah, this guy sounds like he's in pain and he's it's like getting in the way of his life That's actually why I shaved my head back in the day uh, at the beginning of this channel I don't know if you guys remember but I did shave my head and it was because of reasons like this I thought I couldn't do the things that I wanted to do so I get it. I get it. I'm, I'm with this guy so far That's it. Let's go. Should I just pull it? Welcome to my moment of truth as it were. Okay, I'm gonna first go to first one and a half speed. <laughs> Stupid shit has been on my head for so long. It's on purpose, but whatever it is, I'll send it to you. Yeah. Right, let's go. Oh, it looks so good. You're going to look amazing. That's why I had on a mini moon. <laughs> it's like, I look yeah, like a prick. <laughs> oh, look at this. This guy is actually, he's going through it. Dude, I get it. I've shaved my head. I know what this feels like. It's scary. <laughs> look at this. You can just like see. The what am I doing in my eyes? Like he's searching for his soul out in the world. I'm not making you know light of the fact here, but I just I know this feeling and it's tough. It's tough. Oh my god. He's like, yeah. Come on, that's amazing. You know it. Hmm. Dude, I get this. Like, I really get what he's going through right now. You know, it looks like he's making a big deal out of like shaving his head and oh yeah, like what what's the real big deal here? But it is so hard psychologically to do what he's doing and to face that. Like to shave your head is really, really, really tough. So, I mean, I, I give respect to his reaction here and how he feels about himself. I like that, that's completely organic and that's real. Um, and I, I get it, it's, it's tough, it's tough, so. You know, props to him. Much better than before. I'm sorry. Uh oh. That's the comparison. Just such an idiot. You love it. Okay. Oh shit. So the fact that you're playing, the fact that you're playing means okay, you're fine. Okay, don't worry. There you go. So that's it. <laughs> yeah, there, there you go. I'm constantly getting comments from some of the members of my community that are telling me that I have too much hair, chest hair or that I they love my chest hair. So this guy right here seems to know what the deal is. <laughs> All right, so let's move into the part of the video where we actually look at his reaction to shaving his head after the fact. You know, this is him in his conversation with uh, Bald Cafe. This is the part that I'm really interested in to see what their dialogue is like and see first how the guy is who shaved his head, how he's feeling, but second, how how does Bald Cafe like respond to this guy? Like, what? How is he talking? to him that's that's what I'm really interested in is like what is his kind of like narrative and and how he talks to him so let's let's, let's check this out I'm really really well how are you I'm all right yeah I'm all right it was but, the experience yeah I'm sure it was and <laughs> it didn't I know a lot of people talk on your channel like an element of like relief mm. um for me it was less relief and more I just felt like stupid a bit ashamed of the fact I'd let it go on so long mm. I've had only positive responses literally one of the guys that um that I teach I was just chatting to him he's like do you know what I don't know how else to put it other than you sound lighter because I had to hide it Dang, that's really strong. He feels lighter because he had to hide it. 
once again, I don't really relate to this and I don't, I don't a hundred percent get it. Like, I don't feel like I'm hiding. I don't, I don't know why this is, but I just don't think about my hair system. I don't think about it really ever. But you know, if I, like, I see a lot of comments inside of my community where you guys are saying this kind of stuff where you're like, I feel like I'm hiding. I feel like I'm, you know, not being honest, all this kind of stuff. I don't, I don't know why that is. And you know, maybe we need to explore that a little bit more on this channel. It's the one thing I had to put a block on. It's the one thing I couldn't say. It's the one thing that was holding me back. When, when said, once I'd made that decision, it was surprisingly easy to tell people because hmm. it was no longer going to be a secret, right? I went to the first um, acting class that I've been to in God knows how long. It sounds all very cliche, like your truth and all this kind of stuff, but, but it is. If you, know, if you wear a hair system, you tell everyone and you're happy with it. And you're like, yeah, guys, I wear this and it's cool. And you know, you don't mind, you just like the way you look with it. If you can do that and you're okay with it, fine, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. For me, it wasn't that. For me, it was just hiding. Literally, I was hiding from the world, hiding from myself, hiding from my partner at the time, and then hiding from my girlfriend. After that, I just thought, this isn't, I can't do this. I can't. I'm not gonna lie, guys. This story is like really touching me because I, I feel so bad. Um, I feel really, really bad that this guy had to walk through that and to feel like he was constantly hiding and living his life less than because of, you know, his hair system. And like one of the things that I always talk about in this channel is I want you guys to feel more liberated, more free with, you know, whatever you choose to do inside of your hair loss journey. And this guy, he made a choice and kept that choice for 20 years when it was keeping him in the dark, hiding. Um, and you know, that uh, it's not my experience, but I, I understand why I understand why he quit. And God, I, I want to hear stories like this on my channel too. How do I do this? Yeah, how, how long does it go on for? Look, I look back and think, did I waste all that time? And I didn't because it's not like I just stopped living, mm. but I wasn't getting everything out of life I could have done. And, mm. and I feel like now at least there's the opportunity, you know, I'm just not, I'm so much more confident in the fact that I'm just not hiding anything, you know? I'm not by nature like an anxious person, but this had actually turned me into an anxious person. When there'd been shows, I think people were looking at my hair and all this kind of stuff. And as soon as I took it off, as soon as it was gone, looked in the mirror a few times, like this is a bit weird. I was like, actually all that anxiety disappeared. It wasn't like a sense of relief in that sense of the people, but it, I just suddenly felt like it wasn't there anymore because it couldn't be. And and that's the main thing mm. for me that I think because that element of it's gone, I can be myself. I found that I'm just now able to maintain the way I was I, I, without thinking. There's no no thought or time or anything goes into the, that which did before. The best I can describe. This shit is hitting me so hard. I don't know why, but it's like making me emotional listening to his story. I feel, I feel empathy and I, I, I resonate with everything that he's saying. I, I, it's not my experience, but man, I, I, I don't want anybody to feel like this. That's, that's what I'm, I'm sad about. I don't want anybody to feel like this in any way, whether you choose to shave your head and you feel less than, or that you're hiding or you're losing your hair and you feel less than, or that you're wearing a hair system and you feel less than like, I don't want anybody to feel like this, whatever choice they make. So the fact that this guy was feeling with a hair system, uh, gives me perspective. I bet. I don't have this permanent narrative going on in my head like this all the time. Like this, what if they see this, what if they do that, what if that. Mm. I, I feel clearer. I feel like someone's up my queue by about 10 points because suddenly I can <laughs> yeah. clearly. Like it's like, oh, that came to my head because I didn't have this background noise. Yeah, yeah. It's not distracting mm. me, you know? It's just, everything's just a bit easier. And it sounds, I think for people looking in, they might think that sounds dramatic, but it, well, I mean, it's definitely obviously a psychological thing, but it's like, it feels like a physical weight. Mm. Some people are carrying around the whole time. Yeah. You know, and as, because you're so desperate to hide it, wow! It, it it's it just plays on your mind. Or you, know, you see people talk about like uh, your thing. They're like twenty four seven. That's all I was thinking about. Twenty four seven. How do I? How does it look? How That's do I? so intense, sort this man. Out? How am I going to get the money for a potential hair transplant? How am I going to? Such a drain. It just takes everything out of you. And you know, I, one thing I did feel um, was exhausted. It feels like a nail in the coffin when you're mm. about to do it almost. But it has the absolute opposite effect. It's strange to look at. Still getting used to the way you look. But it's not strange to other people. You know, other people accept it way, way faster than you do. Mm. You have this thing that's happening to you that shouldn't be happening. Why is that happening? Why well, I'm suddenly I'm not going to be me. I'm not going to look like me. I'm, yeah. You know, how are people going to react? How am I? Gonna, how am I ever going to do whatever it is you do? And then, when you take control of it, you take all that back. So yes, would anyone choose it? Probably not. Like so many things in life. But mm. is it the end of the world? Even close? No. It's it's actually the smallest blip 
when it comes to like your overall happiness and your overall life. That's the logical conclusion that we would all have, even if you asked us, any <laughs> one of us. I love everything this guy is saying. Like, I, I can't go to war against this guy because like his perspective is, is so on point. Like what he's saying is honest, it's fair, and it's just an alternate perspective. You know, like what I say on this channel is how I feel, right? That's. I, I hate the word influencer, but I'm influencing my opinion and my thoughts on this. But I, I take that like with heavy responsibility. I want to be very empathetic and see that not everybody has the same opinion as mine and that it, it's okay for you to have a different opinion and a different experience. And this guy right here is, he's basically saying everything that I constantly say, which is, well, one, like his hair system was limiting him the way his baldness was, he felt, or his hair thinning was limiting him. And, you know, he had to do something in order to liberate himself. This is all the same messaging that I talk about consistently and have talked about since the beginning of this channel is like, I'm trying to provide liberation for myself and other people from this thing that's weighing heavy on me. And he's doing the same exact thing and he's finding it with his solution. So, so far, this is like a super respectful conversation. Um, and it's just very, like he, he's being very clear, concise. And I, I think that his, his perspective is on point. Like, you know, he came to a different solution and a different end point, at least currently, but he's, he's rocking it and he's doing a good job. If, as your hair was going, logically you can say yes, that's true. But you're not dealing with logic, you're dealing with things from an emotional perspective. And that's why it's so hard to deal with. Everything now for me is a positive. And everything I do in my life now has a much better, it's just lighter, it's like everything's got a lighter touch, everything just feels a bit easier. If you can just do it, uh, then you, you just like, so you take back that control and you just, you can just go, <sighs> it was just, uh, that was it. And it, it only really had massive significance and relevance to me. And all it did was improve my life and my relationship with other people hmm. because I no longer had to shy away from it. Oh, man. Yeah, no, it's fantastic. No, thank you so much. I, I really, once again, you know, gotta, I got to thank you for doing this. Just normalizing it, right? Demystifying, yeah. normalizing, however you want to put it, just really helped me out. Just when I was in that place of like wanting to make that decision or, or, you know, in that bad place in my head and just watching the channel, just, it wasn't this like, oh my God, I'm going to have to shave my head. What am I going to do? I just kind of went, actually, why am I making this? I can do this. Mm. The be all and end all of life. I can, I can do this. On a personal level, man, honestly, really, really happy for you. Yeah. That's super cool, man. <laughs> this guy literally needed a drink of alcohol, or I assume it's alcohol, in order to shave his head. That's how tough it is. That's how tough it is to do something like this. And getting a hair system probably feels the same exact way for most people. Um, I went into this ready to uh, kind of like go to war, as I said, um, and, you know, defend some of the things about a hair system or, or even like say that, uh, the perspective is maybe a little bit unfair. You know, maybe this person is not coming from like a healthy place mentally. And, you know, they're, they're putting all of the onus on the hair system and, uh, that's not, that's not okay. I actually agree with everything that was said inside this video. This guy just came to a different kind of output, if you will, for his problem. And uh, I, I, it's a beautiful video. It's a really beautiful video. I think Bald Cafe uh, was very fair in the way that they presented this material. And I'm, I, I guys, I want to talk with Bald Cafe so bad. If you're watching this video, I hope that you, the one thing I want you to go spam on his page is to have a conversation with me. Uh, go support the guy, he's awesome. I wanna have a conversation with him though. Maybe my measly, you know, 50, 600 subscribers will get his attention now that he's a big channel over 100K. But anyways, uh, they're killing it, they're rocking it, they're doing so good. And um, yeah, this guy's story is awesome. I'm, I'm so appreciative to him for sharing his story and for us having a chance to kind of look at it together. So I'll catch you guys soon.